What's up YouTube? Aloha Stacker here and in this video we're going to open up all this cool stuff. And if you like silver videos, please stick around because we're going to show off some really cool coins and really cool pieces of silver. But first I'm going to move everything off the desk and we're going to talk about a few quick things that... Stay. Okay. Stupid packages don't want to stay upright. Anyway. So first I want to talk about uh, the, 12, uh, the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, which is coming up. We only, I think, what's today, the 9th? So this will be showing off on the 10th. So there'll only be about one day left after this to make sure you get in here and you get subscribed, you get a comment in. And uh, so before I run, I run my random comment generator and we find out who wins. Uh, that video will be done. I believe I am on the 14th. So that video, I think the 11th is the last day to do it. So after the 11th, I will pick a day and I will probably do... Uh, and figure it all out, get the video made so it's ready to go. Number two, uh, and I haven't talked about this in a while, but my 500, I am at now over 600 subscribers. So we have passed the 500 subscriber giveaway, but because of the 12 days, I'm going to hold off until after that's all over. So we'll probably do that right at the beginning of the year. And I'm going to put a link to the 250 giveaway video, which gives you all the instructions you need to participate in the 500. It will be right here at the very end of the video. And the 12 days of Christmas link will be right here at the end of the video. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and move on and start opening up some stuff. And the first thing I got is a letter right here from our friend Prepping with Sarge. And I just got something from him, so this was kind of unusual that I was getting a second one real quick, uh, back to back. But I'm guessing he had something else to give me. So let's find out and see what we got. Uh, following Yonder Star. Well, that's a really cool card. I like that. And it looks like I got his... Uh, holographic sticker, which is pretty cool because I don't think uh, he sent me that one last time, so that's neat. And uh, what do we got here? Glory to the newborn king. Aloha. Thanks for the friendship and the great contact. Sending you a holographic sticker. Merry Christmas from my channel to yours, your friend Prepping with Sarge. Well, well, Sarge, you are a good friend, and we had our little competition to get to 500. Then we had our competition to get to 600. Now we're both over 600, so why don't we go ahead and try and both shoot for 650 by the end of the year? And if we get there early, awesome, and then we'll push for 700. Why not? We'll just keep having fun, and we'll compete against each other because, you know, a little friendly competition never hurt anybody. So thank you, thank you, Prepping with Sarge. Next, I got an envelope from Italy. And who do we know? Who is our stacker friend that lives in Italy? Can anybody guess? Well, you're about to find out in a second. Let me get everything out of this envelope. And make sure, and we'll start busting out some of the cool stuff. So we got a postcard of Catania, Sicily. Who do we know that lives in Catania, Sicily? La Cathedral de Catania, Sicily. That's beautiful. Now, I've been to Sicily a couple times. I've only flown through. Unfortunately, I've never had the chance to actually spend any time in the city. Although I did get to see Mount Idna from the air, and that was pretty cool. And it was smoking at the time because the volcano was active. Uh, the, it looks like it's the Theater of Bellini de Catania. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That's Catania, Sicily. That is so beautiful. Is anybody, has anybody figured out who this could be yet? Anybody? Anyone? <laughs> All right, here we go. It is our good friend, Anna T. And look at that. It looks like the USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN 70. Best friend of mine was stationed on that ship. Inspirational, precious metals, vlogging, Anna T, John 316, established 2019. Keep stacking from Anna T. Keeps, and oh, I got a really cool hollow one, so that's awesome. Man, these are going to end up on the board. These are going to take tons of space, but that's cool. Stay awesome, stay positive, of course, all the time. All the time. And let's see, you sent me a nice little letter. I'm going to, uh, instead of, sh let's see, uh, Aloha, thanks for being awesome. I really enjoy your channel and all the great coins you share. Keep up the good work. And she also said, P.S. Hawaii cried rain the day I left. We really love each other. Best wishes, best regards, God bless. And, you know, I'm guessing that she must have lived here at one time. I didn't know that, so that's pretty cool. And look at it. She sent me this uh, beautiful keychain. Now, I've spent quite a t I've been to Italy numerous times uh, in my service, and it's just a beautiful country with awesome food. Okay, what is what good? I got here. We got uh, just some euros. <laughs> There's a euro, a 50 cent, a 20 cent, and a 1 cent. And it looks like they're all, well, they're, those, those are all Italian ones, from what I can gather. So that's cool. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I will add this to my euro coin stash which I got, I think I got some other ones from Wild West Stacker, so that's pretty neat. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our first item. And this was an auction win from our friend Darth Stacker. And this was the first time I won an auction from him, or I even went, was able to attend one of his auctions. So let's see, he put a bunch of stuff in this envelope. I don't want to lose any of it. 
Okay, so we got that. So the first thing he sent, the first thing that comes to mind of these coins, and he sent me, he obviously knows that I'm a big fan of the coinage of Mexico. So he sent me this. And what do we got here? We got ourselves, ooh, come on. Brand new phone, brand new camera, hopefully, uh, so that's a 500 peso. So we got a 100 peso. That's funny, I remember that when I was a kid, I used to travel to uh, Rosarito with my with my best friend and uh, we would have all kinds of these coins. Uh, we got, let's say we got a 20. And, you know, the eagles on the back of these coins are just phenomenal. Okay, what's this? Oh, this one's not, this one's the Philippines. It says Banco Central, looks like of the Philippines. 1993. So none of these are all clad coins. None of these coins are silver, but very cool. I'll, I'll accept them with pride and, and I love it. Anytime you want to give me gifts. So I got his stickers. This is the first time I've gotten his stickers. Thanks for the swag stop uh, swap. That's right, because I sent him all my stuff. And so he sent me a whole bunch of his. So this is all headed to the sticker board. Thanks for coming to my auction. You rule, Dark Stacker. Mahalo. Mahalo means thank you, as you all know. Then he sent this, and this is unique. Bonus item, value over $1,000. What in the world does that mean? So I so let's pull it out and see what in the world he's talking about. So is this coin, and I don't know, this looks like a British coin. It looks like King George, but I don't know. I don't know. The back is so worn, I have no idea what this is. So Darth Stacker, when you see this video, can you please tell me what in the world this is and why you said it's worth over $1,000? Because I'm curious. I can't even make out a year on that, but it does look like George, so it is a King George. So it looks like it's a British coin of some sort, but an older one. But man, this thing is just worn out. I'm going to keep it in this envelope, or keep this in this little slip. And when you see this video, I really hope you tell me what that is. But that's not what I wanted. So none of that stuff is what I got in the auction, believe it or not. This is what I got in the auction. I got my first coin from the Intaglio Mint. And Juice Stacker, if you're watching, I know you're a big fan of these. And same with, uh, I think it was Silver Spartan. I just saw a video of his where he just showed off his entire Spartan collection. But what did we get? We got ourselves the Wolfman, or the Werewolf. So let's see. That's really neat. Man, why is it focusing? It's not as good, I think, on this new camera. I might have to mess with the settings. But there it is, the Werewolf. So that is a beautiful coin. And that is my first coin from the Intaglio Mint. It came in a flip, but this thing is definitely going into a, uh, it's going to go into a coin case. So... But there it is, my first Intaglio Mint coin, and they are beautiful. They do a wonderful job. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next. And I tried to find a mint hitch on those before, and I, I, could, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything, and so, oh well. And even their even their website doesn't show how many are minted. So next one, I so I, next one was an auction win from silver from silver nitrate, and he included it as a gift. He gave me a one tenth ounce Britannia. Man, this is for light. Maybe it's the lighting. Let me try to shift the lighting around a little bit. Does that help? It looks like it does. Okay, so we got a Britannia. Looks like it's a 20, 20 pence. And it has the beautiful Britannia symbol on the back. Let me see if I can see, see if I can see the year on this. Um Yeah, it'll be in the description. I'm not gonna waste time looking for it. Okay, so what I actually win in the auction, that's the key, right? So I so in his auction I picked up five dollars face value of Mercury Dimes. So this is just some stacker stuff, or this is just some good good old stacker silver. So I haven't had a chance to go open these up, look at it for anything special yet, but I just wanted to show it off. So that's five dollars face value in dime and Mercury Dimes. I've been giving away a lot of these or trading away a lot of these lately, and I've given some away in some letters. So I needed to restock a little bit so I can continue to do that. Although I don't think I'm going to give away Mercury Dimes anymore. I actually got something special I'm going to show you all later that I'm going to start dropping into everybody's uh, channel mail. If, if the weight persevere. And then he also gives me, this is a free gift. I got a 1958 Type B reverse quarter. And uh, he'll have to explain that to me. I think he did, but he was telling me that he was going to give me something that's kind of unique. And I think it has something to do with uh, down here. Let me see if I can if I can bring it up. Yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not 100% sure. I'll have to look up and see what the heck that, that Type B reverse means. Some of you coin collectors may be able to tell me in the description or in the comments. And then also he sent me this little envelope. And in this envelope, we got ourselves a dime from 1950 so let's see we got a mint mark we got a uh, mint mark on this i wonder if it's these gloves that are making this hard to focus so it's a d so it's a 1950 d look at that normally see normally this stuff focuses pretty good All right, new camera not happy yet but anyway 1950 d thank you silver nitrate those are some awesome gifts uh I appreciate it. It's very cool. And if you don't do his auctions, he does his auctions Saturday morning, uh, 8.30 Hawaii time. So I guess that's 10.30 Pacific and 1.30 uh, Eastern East Coast. So check it out. Fun auctions. Lots of good stuff. All right, moving on next. 
Next one is a JCS coin auction win. And this is something that's really cool. I think you guys are gonna really dig these coins. First, we got ourselves a 10 ounce Australian koala from 2015. Check that out. That is chunky. Let me see if I can pull the let me see if I can pull it out of the out of the uh, case so we can see it. Because this case this case is actually really scratched up. But I doubt the coin is, because it is supposed to be beautifully in circulated. Um all right, I think I'm gonna have to use old old trusty here. Give me a quick second, everybody. And we will uh, we will bust this case open and we will find out just how pretty this coin is. Man, this thing does not want to come out. Man, these things are built well, built. Well. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't want to open. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not gonna waste time. These videos go too long anyway as it is. But here's the coin. It's beautiful. And there she is. My first. This is actually my first Australian koala too. I don't own any other koala coins. And the cool thing is now I get to put it with my 10 ounce uh, kookaburra. Let's go ahead and grab that and show that off. Hopefully I don't knock anything over. So now we got a 10 ounce kook and we got a 10 ounce koala bear. So now we have a, actually, hey Stormy, we got ourselves a koala burra. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Okay. So very cool. That's another 10 ounces of, of beautiful silver. And uh, this next one. Okay. So for this next one. Ugh. I'm going to have to bust out the microscope. And the reason why is because I'm going to read this to you first. This was presented to members of the Franklin Mint Society on August 20th, 1971. And because you can't see what that is, we're going to have to put it under the digi. Now, what do we have written here? So this is cool. Certificate. Oh, man, this camera. Okay. Certificate of Authenticity. Limited edition mini coin accompanying this certificate was made from a special melt of silver onto which was placed 10,000 grains of silver that was carried on board Apollo 11, or La, 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 Apollo 14 on its voyage around the moon. So this piece of silver was made from silver that was carried on Apollo 14 that went to the moon. And it even says on the, on the uh, case, let me see, let me pull this out because we're going we're gonna to push this under the scope so you guys can actually see what, what the coin actually looks like. Man, I shouldn't have worn gloves. I think gloves are killing me. <laughs> All right. So here we have the actual uh, coin. And let's see. Let's see where it starts. Okay. So this mini coin was made from a special melt contained silver that was carried to the moon on the flight of Apollo 14. So and we're going to put this under the scope so you can all see it, but I'm going to have to move some of this stuff out of the way before we, uh, before we uh, bring the scope out because I don't want to get anything ruined here. Okay, so we've got ourselves old trusty. Let's go ahead and bust him on. Here we go. There's our light. So let's see, is this the right direction for the... Okay, so cool, look at that. So it looks like we're already pretty much focused too. Let's see if we can just about, let's see if we can make this a little clear so we can all read this together. And Maybe we can zoom out a little bit too, because I don't think for the wording we need to be so zoomed in. Maybe because we just read it all. All right, cool. Check this out. Check this out. Mini coin made from. Man, that is, maybe it's just too much light. Made from a special melt containing silver that was carried to the moon on the flight of Apollo 14. Now, how neat is that? Now, this coin is very, 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 very discolored. But let's go ahead and see what's on the other side, because the other side. See what it says. It says presented to members of the Franklin Mint Society, and on the bottom it says August twenty eighth, nineteen seventy one. So that is neat. And look at it's a picture of the moon. This, this is, actually, you know what? Let's zoom this. Since we're going to be looking just at a photo, let's go ahead and zoom out so we can check out that. Now, how cool is that? How many of you can say you own a piece of silver that's been to the moon? Well, I can, and that is cool. And believe it or not, you can find these on eBay, and they're not that expensive. So good hunting for if you're interested, because space collectors, and I love space stuff, space collectors know about this coin. I'm, in fact, I'm going to leave this here for the rest of the video. How cool is that? Now, you don't shut off. <laughs> All right, that's done. So let's go ahead and move on to the next set of coins. And this is another auction win from JCS Coin, or JCS Gold. And I was able to score myself, boom, 10 1999 Canadian Maple Leafs all in the original packaging. So look at that. Look at it. even the packaging's all yellow, it's so old. And these, 
uh, let's see what I have. I have some information. Oh, so you know what? Actually, I forgot to I forgot to tell you. So the the koala 10 10 ounce has 20,120 mintage. The moon coin here, this actually was minted 129,449. So they're not rare. They are findable. And then and then these uh, maple leaves, 1,229,442 were minted. So that's pretty neat. Not too rare, but uh, it's one of the earlier years. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next coin. This was another JCS gold auction win. Now, if you can see, I buy a lot of stuff from these guys because I get awesome deals. So please check it out. They have their own website, but I use the eBay one because eBay is easier. And what we got here is a French coin, a 50 franc coin from the year 1978. Now, let me, uh, I do have some information saved and ready to talk about on this coin in case I need to. Okay, so what we have here on the obverse is 50 francs and it's inside the wreath and it says Republic of France 1978 and that's a pretty cool year because 1978 is the year I was born and on the front it says liberty equality fraternity and the and, and you have Hercules in the middle and basically the liberty and the equality two ideologies which are not often compatible reconciled with fraternity by Hercules the French with the French motto above so that is a pretty neat coin and this coin was minted, the mintage of this coin was, let's see, I have this written down, or do I? It is 12,030,211, and the designer was Augustine Dupre. So, so a little bit of knowledge, and these coins are not rare either, and they're not too expensive, so if you're able, if you like the style, and I think it's cool, anything with Hercules on it, I think it's really neat, grab it. All right. Moving on, we've got our next package, and that is from, I promise that we're almost done. We've only got two more packages to go, and then we'll wrap things up. So the next package we have is from our good friends at Monument Metals. And I was able to acquire during Black Friday, I think this is one of my Black Friday purchases. Uh, it's one of the first ones that came in. I got some uh, Washington Silver Quarters. And, let's see, we can bust that. Look at that. So, and look right there. Look what's on the top. Hawaii Volcanoes. Now, let's hear some awesome noise. Hey, what's going on? Why are you stuck? Okay, there we go. Man, this tube they sent me is uh, <laughs> of the of not the highest quality, but look at this. And this is, a, and, these, and these, believe it or not, and you know, Yankee Stacky did a video on these some time ago, and after he did that, I started searching for him because I was like, man, look at Hawaii, 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 what's this one? Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Look at that. I mean, and just look at these are all beautiful coins, and the, and these you can get pretty close to spot. I mean, they're about as cheap as junk silver, regular junk silver. This is the sound of that silver. But I bought a ten dollars worth of uh, pack, and the reason why is because it's not expensive, and it was a good deal. Let's see if I can bust you back open. Turn on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back inside the canister. Uh, I will break these down into the description of the video so you can see all the states that got there. And if anybody's interested in trading, if one of their states is special to them and they want to trade, yeah, just let me know. I'm totally cool with the. Uh, I'm totally cool with the trade. So here they are. Let me know uh, when you check the description. You'll see which states. Come on, turn on. <laughs> Man, you got. Okay, now you're just making me upset. There we go. <laughs> All right, so that's finished. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our very last item. And this is, is an item that was picked up from Bold Precious Metals. And this, this was the item I actually purchased because this is something I wanted to give back to all of you. Because I love doing sticker trades. And I used to send silver with all my sticker trades. And the problem was was that was the weight. Uh, I was always going over one ounce. Uh, I had to stop sending buttons because the envelopes were too thick. And because of that, the post office was, was, would, would not return them to me. They did one time. Pistol Packing Pilots got returned, and I was able to send his out and pay the, pay the difference. But a few of you, unfortunately, received yours with buttons in them. And because of that stupid thickness of the button, they charge you three-something dollars, three dollars and like 75 cents, so you can pick up your envelope. And that's just not cool. So in the future, no more buttons are going out unless it's going into unless it goes inside an envelope, uh, a special envelope. But I bought this, and this is off gold. And these are let's let's bust one out and show y'all. In fact, since we got the scope out, we'll just move the moon, and we'll just show you what we'll just show you one. And these are going to start coming to everybody during swag with my swag packs because it's the right time of year. And what do we have here? We have ourselves Saint Helena, Queen Elizabeth II, twenty twenty. The East India Company looks like it's 10, one tenth ounce or one ten, ten cents of a, of a British pound. 
And on the back, we have ourselves one tenth ounce piece of silver, a guinea. So that's cool. And it looks like he got, got the seal. Now I do have some information on this real quick that I will let you know what we're looking at. So this is a 2020 one tenth ounce silver St. Helena spade guinea. It contains one tenth troy ounce of 909 silver. It was produced in, by the Sunshine Mint, <laughs> believe it or not, for St. Helena. Uh, on the obverse, it displays the Raphael Macaluf effigy of Queen Elizabeth II within the center inset. Inscriptions include the uh, 10 cents of a pound, St. Helena. St. Helena, Queen Elizabeth 2020, East India Company. On the reverse, which we're looking at right here, you have the spade shield based upon the originally introduced on the 1787 gold spade guinea. The shield contains the United Coat of Arms of England, Scotland, France, Ireland, and the House of Hanover. It has a face value of only 10 cents, uh, 10 pound cents, and a Great British pound and Great Britain pound, and it's backed by the government of St. Helena. So that's cool, and that's coming to you guys. So from now on, on sticker trades, you are going to get silver again from Aloha Stacker. And that is it for today's video. Don't forget, one more thing, I'm gonna move this out of the way because I have to do a plug for my good friend, the Pistol Packing Pilot. Once again, no kilo. You can't see my kilo until we get him to 500. And he's now over 400. I don't know where he's at now, but he's gotta be getting close. Get out there and check that out. He's giving away way too much silver. Way too much silver. Get over there, subscribe, please. Good dude. Anyway, that's all I got, everybody. You guys have a wonderful rest of the week. And I will see you again sometime this weekend for another video. Aloha and mahalo.